hello everyone i think everyone are well and fine and okay so today i am going to discuss with another learning video that is with nda and under a and da regulatory terms that is nothing three categories of regulatory submission 505b1 505b2 and 505z i also discuss para for citation with this learning video so here we have a picture for uh, regulatory pathways for submissions uh, and in a simple way if we see that full ab uh, full application data predominantly obtained by the studies and conducted that means full study is recorded in case of 505b submission that means under submission nda submission in some cases it is known as 505b it's known as a hybrid between an nda and nda uh, it is a hybrid between A and A, 505Z and full and A, uh, 505B1. And 505G is under, that means A and A appropriate for the drug products that are the same as approved products. So here we see uh, pictures in a glance. So we give more details. So what is 505? If a drug is novel, meaning that the active ingredients has never been approved, by the FDA, the development will follow 505B pathway. Under the 505B1, all investigation supporting safety and effectiveness, both clinical and non-clinical, are conducted by or on behalf of the sponsor. The studies are basis of the evidence upon which approval is either granted or denied. So here we give an example for 505B. Uh, so imagine a pharmaceutical company and called B company develops a completely new medication called pain BOA to treat chronic pain. To get approval to the market, sell market, sell pain BOA, B company needs to provide confidential information about the drug safety, effectiveness, and manufacturing process. This involves conducting clinical trials, gathering substantial data. B company submits, submits a new drug application NDA under section B. 505B Act of the FDA Drugs and Cosmetic Act representing all the evidence they have collected to prove the pain B is safe and effective. So the, this is 505B. 505 is another AOS FDA regulatory pathways for approving new drug, which is previously approved active ingredient. In some cases, sponsor may wish to apply for approval of drugs that constitutes a modification of previously drugs. In some cases, root of different roots of emission, different process from new molecular entity. This is the modulation could be reformulation, different root of admission process from a strength indications, and even new product or combination product involving the approved drug. For any of these, the development pathway will follow prohibition under 505B and 505 program still records a full accounting of safety and effectiveness. It is also allows for reliance on previous investigation, meaning investigations that were not conducted by or for the application applicants sponsor and for which the applicant sponsor has not been obtained right of reference. So we have to learn about the RLD and RS. So RLD means nothing else is approved drug list in an orange book and RS when RLD is not available then this is known as RS I mean it's a reference standard. By 505B, a sponsor can completely rely on the data provided by the comp other companies as they tend to avoid unnecessary duplication of the studies performed earlier. 505B regulatory pathways takes lesser time to complete than 505B1 regulatory pathways as the data is the existing reference drug. So, we give an, if we now consider that another company, uh, generic company, pharma, and wants to create a uh, version of pain BOA with a different doses from such as stretchable tablet instead of traditional pill since such pb company already did a lot of research on pain BOA and safety effectiveness and generic pharma can use some of the existing data support to support their application the submit application under 505ba of the fda drug and cosmetic act this pathway allows generic pharma to rely on the information of the pharma B company and yes, well, is still providing additional data specific to the new doses form. So, if we look, uh, see for 505B, I have new drug applications. 
to demonstrate the bioequivalence are innovator in lieu of in lieu of uh, in lieu of replicating application and safety effectiveness generic are delay aid from gaining market approval until the patent and market exclusive of the innovator have expert the patent have been uh, successfully challenged or the application holder of the innovator innovator uh, product agrees with the web or the exclusivity of the uh, for the generic applicants so continuing uh, continuing the story let's say let's say b company pain in boa becomes very popular and successful uh, the, uh, but after a while the patent protection on original drugs expires this means other companies can start creating generic version of pain boa so a company called uh, affordable genetic decide to create a genetic version instead of going through entire process of proving the drug safety and effectiveness affordable genetic can submit under 505b or ifda act they need to show that genetic version is essentially same as the pain b original pain b so performs and performs body in the same way so that's all for today thank you everyone for watching this video if you anyone likes my video please